spoke out earlier tonight. Our morning anchor Kelly Rippin was actually visiting her family about one mile away from the scene there in western Pennsylvania. Yeah, oddly enough, she happened to be in that area. She says she could hear the emergency crews racing to the scene. So here's what she saw just minutes after the assassination attempt on former President Trump. Yeah, guys, I actually grew up in this town and was visiting family as this all unfolded. We were about a mile and a half away and heard the sirens within seconds, uh, of course, and came down to see the crowds leaving, trying to get their bearings. I'll take a step out of the way. They have this road closed right now. This is the two lane road that leads to the farm show grounds. You can see state police are on scene here, as well as multiple ambulances, fire departments as well, checking everyone as they come through, making sure they are OK. Obviously and understandably, a lot of confusion people trying to get to their cars, meet up with family members and uh, check in. A uh, crowd of a lot of different people. There's a baby just across the way, uh, people of all ages and people trying to connect with their families and let them know that they're okay. I was talking with a man just a minute ago who said he heard the pop, pop, pop. He got to the ground and then quickly the Secret Service came through to make sure everyone went to the ground as they were running towards potentially the source of whatever the noise was. So uh, a lot of confusion and of course we'll keep you updated here on WLWT in Butler, Pennsylvania. I'm Kelly Rippin. All right, so Kelly Rippin again visiting family a mile away from the scene there in Butler. And this is a story that we've been.